Welcome to my boss only challenge. This is a voiceover. As you can see in the gameplay, I'm grabbing poison weapon and weak point and keeping rupture. This is because of the start. Starting gear isn't very great. I gotta kill the boss as fast as I can. I don't want to be damaged by the zone. So we're just gonna start off with full DPS once we get some more items. I will equip those items, of course, and I'll probably swap out my abilities for, you know, hide, smoke bomb, whatever. But yeah, this is a voiceover. It's not connected to the game. My goal for this series or these episodes that you'll see is just, just raw gameplay along with me voiceovering over, talking about what I thought about the game. As you can see, starting out, it started middle left. Very good spawn easily run to the boss. The main concern I have here is because I don't have hide. I gotta be careful of the PvE. Bats aren't a big problem. As long as I just run to the door, I should be ahead of everything. My goal is for this to just be a one life thing. I go as long as I can until I either die or <laughs> I run out of time to play. You know? We'll see how far I can go. If I die to any players, then that will be the end of the series. I'm just going to have one life for this. I'm not going to use my storage at all. I'm just going to keep everything on me because I want to incentivize the person who kills me. If someone kills me, I mean. If I die to the boss, then that's tough, you know? I don't think I will. I'm pretty confident with the boss. I can get the majority of the damage, probably 95% of the damage I can get. I'll miss a few attacks here and there, you know? I'm not perfect. But yeah, my main concern is going to be the players. This boss fight is not a big deal. It's just when players start messing with the boss fight, gotta be really careful. Sometimes they'll just wait outside the boss for and you kill it and rush you afterwards. But also, sometimes players will come join the fight. And even if they don't mean harm, having a second person in the fight can make it a lot more complicated. <laughs> We'll try and be friendly with people, try and exploit their friendliness. I won't, I probably won't kill them, because I don't get anything if I kill them. Because I'm not going to be looting any players, I'm only allowed to get loot from the boss, that's why this is the boss only round. And I'm also allowing myself to grab loot from the boss room, of course. Once you kill the boss, there's that treasure room. Well, anything in there, that's free game. But other than that, I'm not allowed to loot anything, not allowed to buy anything, not allowed to trade anything. My main goal for if I die is I want to have so much good gear that whoever kills me gets a big payday and they, you know, they're super excited, they loot all my stuff. Because I don't, I don't really like the teaming method. Like, I'm going to use it. I'm not going to try and be the instigator of all PvP fights. My main goal for this is just... I'm going to try and be teams with anyone. I'll crouch toward them. I'm not going to try and take unnecessary fights. Oh, that was a crazy fight. Also, kill me is what I mean. Yeah, I just want anyone who's brazen enough to decide to not be with me when I'm crouching and just go for the kill. I want them to be rewarded. I want more of that behavior in this game. But I'm sure I can't make a big effect with a small audience, so I'm not too worried about it. Anyways, this boss fight's going pretty well. Two screams in a row is really bad though. That almost certainly means I'm going to have enemies, or I guess other players coming to join the fight, or coming to murder me afterwards. We are at 6 minutes 40 on the clock. I think with no gear, you should expect to kill the boss in about 3-4 to four minutes if you're hitting all the damage phases. If you are missing damage phases, it's going to take at least 4 minutes, if not 5 or 6 minutes. And that's just for Rogue. If you're going other classes, like I've, I've cleared it on Fighter, Barbarian, Bar, Warlock. I guess Warlock is fast, but all the, all the other classes, they're just lower. 
you want to be a rogue if you are to pass, because the rogue is just a glass cannon. Plus, rogue is such good perks. Poison weapon is huge. Not weak weapon, that's an ability, but... The rogue perks are huge. Removing armor with weak point, and then the armor removing perks are going to be huge for DPS. Just anything you can do to increase your damage is really good for a boss fight. Because, like, if a boss is going to kill you enemies if he hits you, it's not going to really matter if you're a tanky barbarian. Oh, we got an archer in the shooting from the far corner. Looks like he's aimed at the boss. I know in this moment that I was not certain if he was going to shoot me or not. I was very scared. That's why I gave a few crouches right there. It looks like he's being friendly, though. Just a friendly, friendly ranger. He's crouching back. I don't need any of that gear on the boss, so I signal to the archer to just take it. And now since I hear a second burst, my goal is just run. If I can get out of there and let them fight, that'll be way better for me. Either fighting the person who wins their fight, who's low, or just not fighting at all if I can just run past them. Because at the start, I've got no gear. I don't really want to try and take on unnecessary fights while it's early on in this game. I didn't get anything from the chest, that's unlucky. No weapons yet, just a bunch of gold items, and I don't have lockpicking mastery because I went with poison weapon perk, so I can't open that golden chest. I see my ranger friend won their fight. I guess no one died. I guess the other person who came into the room got scared of the ranger and ran away. I don't really need to commentate over the rest of this. I'm just gonna try and find myself an exit. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I'll just fast forward through this till the end of the match. GG's. I'm able to find myself a good blue portal. Get that open. 